Today on Dead Dodge Garage, we had a front sway bar to the front of the Daily Driver Barracuda. In the last episode of the Daily Driver Barracuda saga, we struggled and eventually triumphed in replacing the upper control arm bushings and upper ball joints on the Barracuda, which, as you can see, are definitely hooked up already. We had a couple of, let's say, mishaps along the way. And now, we're gonna take the front suspension of the Barracuda from eh, kinda okay to kinda better. We're gonna be adding this inch and a half diameter tubular front sway bar to increase its handling capabilities. We're gonna be adding some horsepower to our suspension today. In days past, we used other brand kits that were pretty affordable. They used bolt-on sway bar mounts and even bolt-on sway bar tabs that just bolted on to the lower shock bolt. And it was a really easy kit to install. Unfortunately, those kits are almost $500 now. Hotchkiss makes some great products. I've got their tubular upper control arms on the Fury. We've installed most of a TVS on a 68 Roadrunner before. They know what they're doing when it comes to suspension. My goal with the Daily Driver Barracuda, now that I own it, uh, and in case you didn't notice, I'm not Jamie. My goal is to turn this into an affordable, daily drivable car that I can drive to work, drive my kid to school, maybe take on a road trip or two. I want this car to be comfortable to drive, but I also don't want it to handle like a wet noodle. I want it to have some high speed stability. I want it to go straight down the road and not um, go off the road. If you're serious about handling, you're probably not going to be running a 215 on a 14 inch wheel. But if you want a retro looking cruiser and you want to at least kind of be able to handle okay compared to 1960s standards, we'll show you how to do that. We're gonna start by using Movie Magic and putting this Barracuda on that lift, just like that. Bam! It's a couple days later and there's another charger on the lift. So I guess we're just gonna do this on ramps. I've got the end link position mocked up on the lower control arms down there. I'm gonna tack those into place and then I will finalize our our bar location there, and then we'll tack on the other brackets. What the heck? Okay, yeah, I found the old wire wheel and managed to make it good ground, and now it's welding. I got this end link tab tacked on, and I got the whole bar mocked up. I think I've got these bar mount brackets about where I want them. This K-frame bracket on this side isn't sitting quite as flush as the one on the other side, but we'll just pinch it here. That looks about perfect to me. Our end links are pretty close to vertical. And we've got, it's a tight fit back here, but there is clearance. I could even yeah, pull it just a little further forward. That creates a little more, especially here. I got about a finger. This side's a little tighter, so I think I'll try and move this bracket a little further forward. There's a hole here and a hole here, and uh, the instructions show them being pretty close to lined up. So we will do this one more like that. Oh, that's better. And then just go around, make sure the end links are still about where I want them. That got this closer. There we go. So we're going to plug weld these three holes and then we're going to weld all the way around the edge. I don't want to tighten all this hardware up. Uh, I just want to have it loose so I can manipulate everything. That looks pretty good. We've got room behind the bar still. And that's pretty close to level. So I think this is gonna be be good. Might get one more pair of vice grips on this side if I can, just so this is actually flush with the K-frame. But I think this is gonna turn out pretty nice. That's tacked. I'm gonna take the whole bar down and fully weld up these brackets.
little more speed. My welder mask that has an actual hood with it so I wasn't melting my scalp also this thing fogs up really badly this is done actually going on there pretty good a grinder and paint make me the welder I ain't um, oh I did already hit that so I'll weld up that hole and a little more on that edge and this one's done um, um. blew the breaker. I almost did that in one shot. Turn it. Ah. Luckily it's just the breaker in the toolbox. Which is, you know, what the welder's plugged into. Really good setup he's got going here. <laughs> Hey, you know what? We'll just restore the strut rod while we're at it. Maybe the whole arm. Mmm. Freshly restored suspension. Okay. We're gonna squeak a little bit of this out on the inside and outside of the bushings and spread it around. We only have one tube with this kit, so I'm gonna try not to overdo it. But I get nice coverage, just spread it all around, inside and out. Should have done the inside first. Now my gloves are gonna get all sticky. Now we've got our nuts, probably. Uh, three out of four ain't bad. I guess we'll start on this side. Why didn't I grab the electric ratchet? That's a good question. I don't have the answer. Oh yeah. Boom. And there you have it. It's just that easy to improve the cornering of your classic Mopar. Sure, you gotta have a welder, can of paint to make everything freshly restored when you're done. But uh, if you're handy with that, it's really not a difficult install. You can already see how the uh, suspension of the Barracuda has been tied together. Before, when I was pressing down on the car to settle the suspension, I'd press and each side would move individually. Now the whole front end moves together which is exactly what we're looking for. All right, we need some gas. So we'll, we'll go up here, but I'm gonna go around the blocks so we can test out our sway bar and see how the cornering capabilities have evolved. Oh, we need to torque all the wheels. All right, now I'm getting tired of that. So, ordered this guy from the Ebays. We're just gonna knock it out real quick. Just got one little roll pin. And uh, 
Where'd that come from? There's a free all when we need it. Holy crap, it's actually working. Ice cream man. And it's just that easy. Mostly. Can't believe my own brother would sell me a car without a functional parking brake handle. It's just not right. Did I mention it's almost been another week? I still haven't torqued the wheels or really test driven the car other than driving it to the park. We should fix that. Boom. Now this handles the nicest part of the car. It's nice when something as simple as setting or releasing the parking brake doesn't have to be such a debacle. Took a little burger brake thanks to the neighbors. Now I'm going to torque all the wheels and maybe adjust the uh, Alignment on the passenger side arm. Jamie tried to align this at Rocket and couldn't get enough caster on that side, so wanted to make sure the bushings weren't flipped the wrong way because we did such a good job of putting them in the correct way, obviously. Um, but they were actually right, so that's a problem. Anyway, it pulls to the left now instead of the right, so hopefully we can take some of that out by adjusting that arm. This looks super safe. I gotta set these both in to where Jamie had them before, which seems kind of backward to me. Also, this side is about a quarter inch lower than the driver's side, so I'm also going to adjust the torsion bar up uh, at least a little bit. Oops. Oh no, my new sway bar is already dirty. The best way to start adjusting this bolt is to spray some penetrant on the threads. What you can do through this hole here. That's the block it threads into. Ah, uh, but Jamie doesn't have any, so we're just gonna make it work. One handed somehow. I like to do these about a quarter turn at a time. Oh my god, or not at all. Oh my god. Okay. Plan B. That was about one whole turn. Two whole turns. We'll see what that does for the height. Important part. Bounce the front end up and down a few times. Even better if you can drive it back and forth, but eh, this'll do. Someone should really put a nut on that stud. This is how you do this the wrong way. I like to measure from the ground to the fender about along the middle of the spindle nut. Up to the top of the fender. Before, we were just a hair under uh, 26. This can raise both sides, turning that bolt. It's not necessarily a even thing. One bolt for one side. It can affect both. Kind of surprised it went that high though. Well, it's closer. I bet it settles a bit more once we drive it. This side's still down a little, so I'm going to go one more turn on this adjuster and then after we drive it we'll recheck. <laughs> Enough. 
Well, we need to torque all the wheels on this. Every single lug nut's been off the car again. And Henry here wants to learn how to torque wheels, so I was gonna grab this, but the battery's dead, so we're gonna use the old clicky boy. Here's where we start, bud. This one just has a little knob to mm -hmm. adjust the torque value. Mm -hmm. You just turn it up till you get where you wanna be. Usually on these, I start at 65, and uh, usually I'll go a little past that, but these 7 16 studs really don't take much torque, so. Here, do you want to try? That's not that heavy. You think so? <laughs> All right, well, let's go try. Let's see if you can get it to click. Choose one lug nut on the Barracuda to tighten. Oh, we might need an extension. Hold on. Mm -hmm. All right, so you do this. Mm -hmm. oh, that one's already pretty tight. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go in a star pattern, mm -hmm. so crossing sides. I'll try this one. Put both your hands on this and see if you can tighten it till it clicks. Okay. Okay. Nope. <laughs> We're going to put it on like that. And then you push with two hands down. Oh, there you go. So then we go over to this one. Okay, push with two hands until it goes click. Go ahead and click it, ratchet it back up. Okay, now try again. Oh, 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 yep. There you go. Good job. Next wheel. Okay. Your turn. My turn? Okay. <laughs> I'll hold the phone. You're gonna hold the phone. All right. Okay, this one has four lug nuts, and you wanna go across in the star pattern still, mm -hmm. but because there's one missing here. I'm bringing in something to sit on. Okay, but we're gonna be to the next week pretty quick. Mm hmm my dad's currently trying to. Yes. You can see here and get on thumbs up. I like this car. Do you? Uh huh. I do like it. Ah. Oh, this is a little car. Oh, you can you can do it in the back. But oh, what's going on this one? My shoes are brand new, guys. They nice. Oh, laces. There's my bike. Here's the important thing. Most torque wrenches. You gotta set them to zero before putting them back in the drawer. Although I wonder if this uh, you may not actually have to do that. It's still best practice to do uh, so. Actually bleeding right there. Let's grab one of the screwdrivers that Uncle told us not to use. Never. Please don't hold it above the antifreeze zone. Okay, uh, the good news is this light points off to the wrong side because yeah. we need a new uh, adjuster to come and hold it. Oh. That's why it points off in the outer space. Also, these lights kind yep. of suck. And we should just get new bulbs anyway. Yep. Can you actually point the camera at something that's not my knee? I Otherwise, actually... I'm not going to be able to use any of this footage. Why? Will it show your knee for yeah. two hours straight? Yeah, no one wants to look at my knee for two hours. <laughs> if anyone ever figures out how to go back in time, all I want them to do... Here. All I want them to do is to go back and tell Chrysler to put just a little notch in every single one of these headlight bezels so you don't have to pull them off. All right. That's better. Kinda. Are we good? Yeah. Should, should we test drive the car, see if it still pulls around? Yeah. All right. Let's you, go. You gotta move your bike so we don't run it over, though. Oh. All right. Wheels are torqued. Uh, this side That's is lifted a little bit, and we... Adjusted the alignment, so now hot dog and I are gonna test drive the car, but it gets dark at 8 o'clock now So we're night. probably not gonna record anything but good night of it. You're killing me bud Nice Oh yeah This all seems very normal, but also smelly yeah, so how about that radiator then? Oh, it's me.
you know, they say coolant and indeed oil are extra in this Lance 6, but I'm starting to think that might not be correct. Anyway, while I was gone doing exciting charger things across the country, a sway bar magically appeared under the front of this car. So when it's done being really hot and angry about life, I think we were pretty much obligated to go test it. T's ready. I think this is okay. Tiny chickens! <sighs> Just a normal everyday occurrence now. Jesus Christ! Oh. Found the traction! Huh. Seems like it kind of goes straight. Um, it still pushes a little left. It's not ideal. We're not here to test the straightness. Oh. We're here to test the corner. I'm going to go straight. As long as you know. What a horsepower machine. Yep. The speedometer has levels of accuracy that are close enough. Wow. Read about 28 at 30. Earlier, sometimes it sticks up and earlier it was reading like 50. I can't help but notice that there is still some horrible noises back there. Well, the trunk flops around. I'm used to that one. Oh, the... <laughs> well, I think that's that one. Is it? I don't know. I can't tell. There's still a noise in the back. Oh! <coughs> Not I mean, as it's bad better. as it was. Definitely better. Oh, what's that one? What is that noise? Clutch. The throw out. Oh. Or input. Probably input. Indirect. The hood looks so much better. Yeah, it does. This is not bad. It seems like it's doing the thing. Oh boy! Wow! The confidence! Yeah. It doesn't care! It's pretty good around this. Wow! I've never driven this car this fast before. I'm impressed! And it's quiet so the neighbors won't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> of course, right after I turned the other camera off. Of course. Oh, I was gonna say something, but then we like yeah. gently <laughs> looked up to bird. The sign seems happy still somehow. Yeah, I've been cruising in an overdrive at like 35. It doesn't seem to mind. Uh, the microphone on the GoPro is too good. Allegedly. I think this car is why they think that. Oh. Oh. 
What's menacing? It's so quiet and unassuming. Well, it wasn't the first time we drove it. Yeah, that's true. It needs carpet. It does need carpet. And a headliner. Then you wouldn't hear all the horrible noises in the rear end. Exactly. Maybe a, yeah. a noise maker. That would be cool, I guess. I've got one that'll fit. I couldn't put it in the valley because I didn't have dash trim. Probably could take this corner at 40, but... I think so. There's a lot of houses. Yeah, they might frown on that. Well, I think we all learned a valuable lesson. Buy a sway bar. Do that. Don't try and replace your ball joints and upper control arm bushings if you don't have to. Don't do that. Do get an overdrive transmission. Yes. Especially with the slant six. Mm -hmm. Or a fuel injected magnet, that works very well too. It's a nice evening. It won't be for the next week. Season. Oh, how are the wipers on this, by the way? Oh, the wipers. Oh, let's. T oh, yeah, they're really good. Yeah. The wiper motor's in the trunk. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Is it a two-speed? Yeah. I'm kidding. Oh god. Oh yeah. The modern seats are good, but it kind of seems like they need even more. More bolster. <laughs> more bolster. Yeah. You're at a point That's where that like might become human. important. Why is there a human there? Yeah. There's never a human there. More bolstering than I'm used to. Oh no, it's great. It's way better than the bench seat. I think they'll do. I think they're too nice. It needs a good alignment. I I try. The brakes are acceptable for now. Four wheel disc. Maybe. Um, that might be hard with the small bolt. Squeak, Ooh, squeak. Corolla. Oh, that's mint. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's good enough for traffic. Yeah. At least in town. It seems relatively safe. We need to fix the right blinker, not auto canceling. Uh, yeah. How about the horrible noise in the column? In conclusion, um, sway bars. Yes. Do a sway bar if you want to go around one corner. That. We drove too fast. Everything's ruined now. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Thanks for watching. Dude. And remember, swim away from the light, not toward it.